Hi kids, welcome back to my channel. Did you know that farmers and seed stores use special seed counter machines? They put the seeds in a tray and press the button and they will count how many seeds do you have. Today, we are going to be counting some seeds. We'll be reading a book, Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. We'll do our counting routine and then count some seeds, just like the counter machine. First, let's read the book about seeds. The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and fully start to burst open a little. Now there are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed, and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will, it will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has six. And look, a bud! And now even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. 
It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny city is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it. The rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and at this time, the flower seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. We finish our book. Let's count some seeds in a book first. In our book, on our first page, remember we had some seeds and some seeds that were blown by the wind. Can we count them together? And remember, as we count things, we are going to use our finger as a tool to count and touch each seed and make sure we don't miss anything. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see ten seeds flying in the wind. Now, let's do our next page. In this page, the seeds are still going up and the hot rays burn it up. So it burns one seed up. So let's count how many seeds are left on this page. Can we count? Can you use your finger? And can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of the seeds got burned up by the sun. So we counted the leftover seeds and there are nine seeds that are still sailing in the wind. Okay. Here is the next page where we have some seeds up top of the mountain. And then one mountain seed falls in the icy mountain and dies because it's never warm, but the snow never melts. So how many seeds are left? So let's count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have eight seeds left on this page. Okay. Let's do one more page. If you have this book, you can count all the seeds on the, all the pages and see how many seeds are on each page. But we are going to just do one more page and then we're going to count some seeds on our worksheet. Please count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, one of the seeds drowned in the water, in the ocean, and never grew. There are seven seeds on this page. You are a great counter. You can keep counting to find out how many seeds on each page. Now let's do our counting routine. Remember, when we count, we are going to say the number and we're also going to show the number using our fingers. I'm going to show you the card and then say the number and show that using my fingers. Please count along. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you are ready to count some seeds. For the next part of our video, you will need to download and save the worksheets from the description below. Or you can just follow along and count with me using the video. How do you count things without touching the same thing over and over again? When I count things, I want to touch each thing as I count. If I count fingers, for example, how many fingers do you see? I can say one, two, three. By touching each finger, I know I counted and included in my total count. I see three fingers. The same way when we count things on a paper or we can count cereal or toys or Lego pieces. Remember, you want to make sure you touch each object as you count. So as we count seeds in our worksheet, we're going to remember to touch each as we count. But my next problem is, how do I remember which one I counted? So I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to cross it out as I count. So let me show you what I mean. First bag of seed, a bag of sunflower seeds. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. I see four sunflower seeds. I know there are four sunflower seeds because I touch each seed and I cross each seed out. So now I know I did not miss anything. So in the corner, in the left corner, I'm going to write, there is a square where you're going to write your number. Write number four. Next one are corn seeds. Let's count some corn seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six corn seeds. I'm going to write number six in a corner in a square to show my answer. Next one, are, next, there are two pumpkin seeds. How do I know it's two? Because I already counted and this is an example for you. If you want to finish the rest of the worksheet by yourself, you can stop the video, count it, and then come back and check your answers. Or you can keep counting with me. Next bag, I see cucumber seeds. Whoa, there are a lot. So I want to make sure I touch each seed and I count and I cross it out as I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I have ten cucumber seeds. I'm going to write number 10. Next bag of seed are watermelon seeds. One, two, three, four, five. There are five watermelon seeds. In the corner, in a square, I'm going to write five. Carrots. There are one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. There are seven carrot seeds in this bag. I'm going to write number seven. Zucchini seeds. One, two, three. There are three zucchini seeds in this bag. I'm going to write number three. Next bags. Next bag is a bag of green beans. Let's count them up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine green bean seeds in this bag. I'm going to write number nine. And the last bag are daisy seeds, the daisy flower seeds. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. I have five seeds. I'm going to write number five. Did you count them all right? Great job. If you can count to 10 by yourself without my help or your parents' help, then go ahead and save the next worksheet is counting seeds up to 20 and see if you can figure out how many seeds are in each bag. You can save your work and send it to me at anetkaacademy at gmail.com and I will tell you if you got them right.
If you like this video, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, and come back for our next video about plants. Have a fantastic day, everybody.